There is a brief story that I mentioned in the Toscate Deep Look documentary that I made earlier this year. As a kid, I used to hang up my art in my bedroom and pretend it was a gallery. That wasn't an isolated incident. I did it more than once while growing up. As a kid, scribbling crude dragons onto copy paper, I dreamed of one day of seeing my work in a gallery. I had no idea how I was going to achieve this dream, but it was something that lingered in my mind for most of my primary school years. As I got older, though, the allure of being a professional artist sounded less and less ideal. I even found an entry in a school-kept diary where I straight up said, I don't want to be a professional artist. Well, at the age of 29, I can now officially call myself a professional artist to some degree, as my work has now been shown in a gallery and sold in this space. In all fairness, I wasn't planning on making a video about this at all. As I'm writing this script, the show had just ended four hours ago, and I'm still feeling so euphoric from the night that I just had. So, like usual, I wanted to take a chance to get my feelings out and heard. Hey, sometimes they're positive. In 2023, I was made aware of a show in Spokane, Washington called Terrain, run by the organization of the same name. I was made aware of it rather late in the year, so I had to scramble to figure out what to submit. I had a few visual art pieces and an installation piece involving a broken table, but the biggest thing that I pushed that year was actually the Disaster Archives, hoping Terrain would be TDA's big break. Alas, it was not meant to be. My works were rejected. All of them. In hindsight, I can see why, but this didn't mean that I didn't take the rejection pretty hard. It just came to me at the wrong time. 2023 was pretty hard on me in general, and this was the final blow to me that year. After this, my work stagnated pretty badly. I found inspiration hard to come by, and rarely did things excite me. As 2023 concluded, these depressing feelings eventually grew into bitter anger and frustration. I spent all of 2023 desperately trying to find what kind of work people wanted from me, tripping, stumbling, and breaking my damn legs in vain, only to come to no conclusive decision. These frustrated feelings eventually materialized into Toscate Definitive Edition, with its epicenter being the track, Meltdown. which I consider to be the most intense piece of audio I've made thus so far. A track representing my absolute breaking point and just how exhausted and furious I was with constantly putting myself out there and getting nothing in return. Even after releasing this angry little album, I didn't feel much better about my future, which you can hear in the aforementioned Deep Look video for Toscate, which came out a week after the album's release. A quarter of that video was intentionally monotone to match the depressing mood and topics presented in the album, but the writing of that script was genuine. By the time I finished the video and released it, I was starting to feel certain that perhaps art really wasn't my future, and this was all for nothing. I did have a slight turnaround in March of 2024 thanks to a certain Twitch streamer, and come June, I began looking at my body of work and contemplating if I really wanted to risk submitting to Terrain again this year. Against my gut instincts, I went ahead and did. I submitted five pieces, this time focusing on just my visual art pieces, as it's all I had. The first was I'm Glad I Poisoned You, my diss track, if you will. The second was Coming Apart, mounted to wood that would be burnt and destroyed. The third was Empty, or as I retitled it for the show, It'll Get Better Eventually. This was a vent art piece that I did near the beginning of the year during the broken and sad week I had just before starting Toscate DE. 
The fourth was imposter, which was a piece I did about my own imposter syndrome and how it's been hard for me to figure out what people wanted from me. And lastly, I did an installation piece with a broken mirror and an equally broken cassette deck titled Breakdown. It was an interactable piece where I left instructions for the viewer to actually listen to the audio on the cassette. The audio was a mashup of Fuck You and Meltdown off of Toscate. It was a monumental risk for me to take this year for many reasons that I don't want to get into right now, but this time, the risk paid off. Terrain accepted three of the five pieces I submitted. I was naturally nervous the night of the event. Here I am, some scrappy piece of shit from Idaho, standing around a bunch of highbrow people in suits and pieces of arts priced around $6,000. The first night, I didn't have the guts to talk to too many people, but I did see something I didn't expect. I found all of my artwork, with Breakdown and Imposter being on the second floor, and Empty being on the third floor. I'm going to call the piece Empty, as that's what it was originally called and it's shorter to say, but what surprised me was that I didn't expect people to like Empty that much. It was a deeply personal piece that I was genuinely afraid of seeing the reactions for. Well, the first night, there were people taking photos of it left and right. Several times, I saw groups coming up with one person pointing at it and seemingly saying, this one. People kept taking pictures of the artist's name too, most likely to try to buy it, but I listed it as not for sale. Because of the corner the piece was in, it kept drawing people to it with its mass amount of negative space. I lingered around empty for some time, just absolutely overjoyed at how many people actually liked my work. I didn't get to see that many reactions for Imposter, sadly, I couldn't really hang around it, but unlike Empty, Breakdown's first night didn't seem to go over so well at least from what I saw and heard. A volunteer was keeping an eye on it for me and told me that there were a lot of sour faces after listening to it. I overheard one group say, it's intense, and I also saw a lot of seemingly negative reactions to it. I tried not to think about it too much that night, staying positive that maybe Breakdown would do better on night two. On night two, some kid had come up to Breakdown and pushed all the buttons of the cassette deck over and over again, resulting in the tape jamming. After an hour of waiting, my partner showed up with my repair kit, and we managed to get the tape in working order, but only for maybe 15 minutes on the tape. If it got to a certain point, the tape would no doubt jam again. So this meant I had to keep a watchful eye on it all night long and rewind it every time someone was done. This meant I couldn't really keep an eye on my other pieces, but I did get to absorb pretty much all of the reactions to Breakdown. Breakdown was by far my harshest piece, mostly because it contained Meltdown. Obviously, I got a few negative reactions, people just trying to be nice, but the overall reception was overwhelmingly positive. I was so blown away by people enjoying how intense it really was. There was one person who, and I'm sorry if I was being weird, but I kept seeing a growing smile on their face as they listened to it. And that was the moment where my childhood dream was realized, when all of the hours of pain and suffering were worth it. I finally got to see someone genuinely enjoying my work, and I honestly had to hold back tears because it made me so happy. I've been living in the shadows with my work for so long, and this time I was quite literally under a spotlight. I wanted to test the volume of the cassette deck because people were having a hard time fully hearing it from what I could gather, and I couldn't actually get to the player because there was a line for it. A line for my work. To think that at one point in my life, I scoffed at the idea of becoming a professional artist. As I have said many times, this really is all I've wanted to do with my life. And the ultimate irony for me is that all of the pieces that Terrain accepted were all about how burnt out and tired I was with being unheard. Although, no lie, a little disappointed Terrain did not take I'm glad I poisoned you for the price of $666. Come on, guys, that was funny and you know it. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick recap of this honestly life-changing moment for me. I definitely see myself and my work a lot differently after all is said and done. And if there's anyone watching this from the event, because I know I gave out a lot of business cards, then welcome. There's definitely going to be more works from me in the near future. I've always got dozens of projects. Too many, in fact. In the meantime, I have an extensive body of work that is ripe for exploration, from more music to films to loads more visual arts. Thank you again to Terrain for the wonderful opportunity to get my work to a wider audience. And I hope to see you again next year.